Welcome back, Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. We're on to episode 39 of the Tiny Log Cabin Build. Today we're going to be working on that wiring. Let's go ahead and see what we've done already and where we're going to be heading. One of the previous episodes you saw us put the solar panels on, wire up the charge controller, and into the battery. Today we're going to be going from the battery to a switch to the fuse block and off to our branch circuits. So what we need to do is go wire up like a harness and we're gonna go from the battery positive into a fuse up to the switch and over to the fuse block. And then we need to wire up a negative that goes directly from the battery to the fuse block. So we're gonna go inside and wire that up and when we're done, we'll come back outside and get it put up here on the wall. Okay, we've got everything set up here like a little schematic. We go from the battery positive terminal through our fuse. And this is a maxi blade type fuse holder. Here are the maxi blade fuses. They're really big. You can compare them to the little ones right here. So that's going to be fuse. That's an 8 gauge wire going into the switch. 8 gauge wire coming out into the fuse block. From the negative terminal of the battery, we bypass the switch and go right on over to the fuse block. So that's all we have to do are make some connections here. Got to put a terminal end on both of these. They're going to be different sizes because they're different size posts. This is like a quarter and that's like a three eighths. So I'll, we'll um, put the terminal ends on those. And we'll put the terminal ends on this one here. And that goes right from a quarter over to a quarter. And this from here is a three-eighths over to a quarter. From the fuse block over will go your branch circuits. And I got some uh, copper lugs here. You can see them in the box. Different sizes. And we also have their shrink wrap to, to insulate after we're done. What else am I going to use? I'm going to use a crimper, wire stripper, and a pair of pliers. So that's the whole little system I'm going to wire up. Then we're just going to bring it out, mount it to the wall. For different situations, everybody's different. You're going to have different size fuses. I think I'm just going to go with a 40 amp fuse here. I don't think I'm ever going to be drawing 40 amps. Not even close to it. So a 40 amp fuse here, then we'll fuse these for the different branch circuits. That's for eight gauge wire. That's what this is. She's on there pretty good. And we'll slip that on there and we'll heat shrink that. Now this one on this side, 
I'm going to use this one here. There we go. Crimp that one down. There, we'll shrink that down. All right, so I need a red end and a black end with these bigger ones. This is that silicone. Look how flexible this stuff is. It's a silicone coating. Let's see if I can't slip these on without getting a whole bunch of those little fine wares on the outside. There, that worked. Not moving. Switch these around. Make sure these are good to go. Yeah, they're good for there. Egg. Okay. I think that takes care of all my ends. Well, they're shrinking up nice. There, those are all shrunk. Wrap nice and tight. So there it is. All set up. Now I just need to hook them all together. So let's go to the fuse block first here. Get my negative. Come off there. Got a washer. The terminal. Another washer lock washer and nut that's good and solid and just repeat that We've got the washer terminal washer all right now the pop 
positive gets onto the switch. So what do we have over here? No washers, just gonna slip that on. Put a lock washer on it. We'll tighten that down. Let's see, we're gonna put that on like this. Be on, off. So we're gonna put this one on like this. There. The back goes on like that. That's pretty much it. So that didn't take long at all, did it? Let's bring it out to the tiny house and we'll get it mounted onto the wall. And I think the first thing we want to do is get it set over here. Come off the positive on the battery and get that switch set up. That looks like it would work right there. Then we'll come across here and get the fuse block right somewhere right in this area so I can tighten that right to the wall up there. I think for that fuse block, I'm gonna put a pan little panel up here. That way I can run everything over to here, put that fuse block on here and have enough room. I'm gonna have wires coming out of the all, all four sides of that thing. I think I'm going to bring that around in circles. That way it keeps that fuse. I can open that up right there if I need to. So I think if I put it right there. Don't want to crack that plastic there that looks good and we'll leave that unhooked for now okay we're gonna bring that over to here that works right there that gives me lots of room above it and below it to run wiring Now I gotta bring this one back to the negative. So I'm gonna have to attach that, bring it around and down like that. Same thing, that ABS is tough, but I don't think it's tough enough to keep from cracking. That looks good and tough right there. I don't think that's going anywhere. So we can bring this underneath where I can bring it up. If I bring it up, I'm gonna leave a little slack in it so my other wires can go above it or um, behind it, I mean. So that gets me over to here. That works good. Okay. So we go get some little staples and we'll staple this up nice and neat. Got some tiny little staples here I just found in my shop. And they fit right over that cable perfectly. So let's bring that up here. Leave it a little bit of play in that. And this is we're gonna bring this one around like that. So I'm gonna staple it in this area right here. Let's see how that looks. That doesn't look too bad. I kind of like that.
Now we can go ahead from the fuse block and start running our lines over into the cabin. We're gonna go behind the shower here and out the other wall and we're gonna run them all on that wall. In here the wires will just be running on the wall and the rest of the cabin will be running in a channel. 